This is now the part 16 of the Lead V4 reference guide for homes design and construction online review. Again, all the pictures or images in this video are from Google and USGBC website. If you have comments, suggestions or complaints regarding the images, pictures or in this video, please email me at nalka underscore roko at yahoo.com, and I will immediately reply to you and take action on whatever the reason of your email. Thank you. Why I created this online reviewer. To help myself and others to pass the LEED AP exam in one shot. These are the LEED credit categories. On my previous video, we discussed the water efficiency credit 1, total water use. Now we will proceed to credit 2, the indoor water use. Indoor water use is the second credit under prescriptive path. It is possible for 6 points. Water Efficiency Credit 2 Indoor Water Use Intent To minimize indoor demand for water through high efficiency fixtures and fittings. It is possible for 6 points. Intent To minimize indoor demand for water through high efficiency fixtures and fittings. Requirements Case 1. Single Family Projects that install fixtures consuming more than 2.5 gallons per minute or 9.5 liters per minute per shower compartment must use we credit total water use. Each lavatory faucet or faucet aerator must be water sense labeled. The average rated flow volume across all lavatory faucets must not exceed 1.5 gallons per minute or 5.6 liters per minute for 1 point or 1.0 gallons per minute or 3.7 liters per minute for 2 points. Each shower head fixture and fitting must be water sense labeled. The average rated flow volume per shower compartment must not exceed 1.75 gallons per minute or 6.6 .6 liters per minute for 1 point or 1.5 gallons per minute or 5.6 liters per minute for 2 points. Each toilet fixture and fitting must be water sense labeled. The average rated flush volume across all toilets must not exceed 1.1 gallons or 4.1 liters per flush for 1 point. Each clothes washer must be Energy Star qualified or performance equivalent for projects outside the U.S. for one point. The water pressure in the house must not exceed 60 pounds per square inch or 414 kilopascals, with no detectable water leaks. For projects outside the United States, a local equivalent to water sense may be used. Case 2. Multifamily and Midrise Meet the above requirements for all in-unit spaces and non-unit or residential associated and non-residential spaces. Multifamily and mid-rise projects are exempt from the water pressure testing criterion. No additional credit is awarded if the fixtures and fittings in non-unit spaces are more efficient than those of in-unit spaces. Behind the intent Faucets, showers, baths and toilets typically account for two-thirds of a home's indoor water use and one-third of its total water use. Installing low-flow fixtures and fittings can reduce water consumption without sacrificing comfort and performance. The most efficient fixtures and fittings use less than half the water of conventional alternatives. See further explanation, water sense. High efficiency fixtures and fittings can also reduce the energy demand associated with domestic water heating. Water pressure that is too high can waste water and even damage fixtures. Monitoring for leaks is another strategy. On average, leaks account for 20% or more of indoor water use. Some leaks are obvious, such as a dripping faucet, but leaks in the underground water main, the foundation, or framing cavities can be detected only through testing. Step-by-step -step Guidance Fixtures Step 1 Specify desired water consumption rate of fixtures and appliances. Select high efficiency faucets, shower heads, and clothes washers. Select high efficiency toilets, see further explanation, dual flush calculations. Design only one shower head per shower compartment, see further explanation, shower compartments. If gray water will be used, Ensure that the water quality will meet any minimum standards set by fixture manufacturers, see further explanation, 
Gray Water Systems. Step 2. Purchase and Install Fixtures. All fixtures must be water sense certified except for clothes washers, which must be Energy Star qualified. Clothes washers are not currently covered by EPA's water sense program. See further explanation, international tips for information on equivalency. Low flow shower heads, especially those with flow volumes of less than 1.75 GPM, 6.6 LPM, should be installed with proper thermostatic mixing valves that have been designed, tested, and verified to function safely at the reduced flow rate. The use of conventional or compensating shower valves can increase the risk of scalding when the plumbing system experiences pressure changes. Consult showerhead manufacturers' information for the performance of high efficiency and very high efficiency showerheads, including testing for scalding and thermal shock, before making a selection. If faucets do not comply with the credit requirements, replace the original aerator with a low flow aerator. Flow restrictors, or aerators, limit the amount of flow in a tap and are an acceptable strategy to meet the credit requirements. Water leaks. Step 1. Check for water leaks within building. After plumbing is complete, including the installation of all fixtures and any irrigation, ensure that there are no leaks in the system. Test with a pressure gauge or ask the plumber to perform the test. Turn off all water fixtures and fittings in the building. Install a pressure gauge on a hose bib, and check pressure inside. Do not turn on any water during the testing period. If pressure is unchanged over a period of at least 30 minutes, there is no detectable water leak. Step 2. Check for water leaks between water meter and building. If possible, also check for leaks between the utility meter and the building by turning off all water fixtures and fittings. Observe the water meter over a period of at least 30 minutes. If the meter reading is unchanged, there is no detectable water leak. Water pressure, case 1 only. Step 1. Measure water pressure. As early as possible during construction, measure the pressure of the water coming into the house. See further explanation, water pressure. Step 2. Adjust pressure. If the water pressure is greater than 60 pounds per square inch, 415 kilopascals, Install a pressure regulation valve and adjust the water pressure so that it is 20 to 60 pounds per square inch, 140 to 415 kilopascals. International Tips Projects outside the U.S. may purchase clothes washers that have not been qualified under the Energy Star program if they meet the Energy Star product specifications, available on the Energy Star website. All products must meet the standards of the current version of Energy Stars of the date of their purchase. Projects may use a local equivalent in countries where water sense labeling is not available. Refer to acceptable water sense substitutes on the ASGQ website. Countries for which an alternative is not listed must meet the performance requirements of the credit. Water Sense Not all high efficiency fixtures and toilets operate equally well and poor design can lead to ineffective operation and result in greater water usage to complete household tasks. The EPA Water Sense program certifies fixtures and toilets that achieve both water efficiency and operational effectiveness. Water Sense certification includes testing faucets at 20 pounds per square inch or 140 kilopascals while requiring a minimum flow rate of 0.8 GPM or 3.0 LPM. Water sense accounts for low water pressure in homes with private wells. Dual flush calculations. For the purposes of this credit, the flow rate of dual flush toilets can be calculated using the following formula. High and low volumes must be verified from manufacturer's specifications. Average volume equals high volume flush plus 2, low volume flush divided by 3. Dual flush toilets can be used to meet this credit if the average flow rate for all toilets in the home is 1.10 GPF or 4.16 LPF or less. If the high and low volumes cannot be verified, use a value of 1.25 gallons or 4.73 liters per flush. Average flow rates of toilets must be calculated to the hundredths decimal place.
For example, an average flow rate of 1.13 GPF cannot be rounded down to 1.10 GPF. Shower Compartments A shower compartment is defined as less than 2,500 square inches or 1.6 square meters of shower floor area. Install only one shower head, with separate controller, in each shower compartment, or multiple shower heads if the sum of the shower heads flow rate in each shower compartment meets credit requirements. For every additional 2,500 square inches or 1.6 square meters of shower floor area, multiple head showers and additional shower heads can be installed as long as the total flow does not exceed the requirements in the table. Water Pressure the flow rate of plumbing fixtures is measured at 60 pounds per square inch or 415 kilopascals. When house water supply pressure varies, fixture flow rate drops or rises with it. For example, a reduction in pressure from 100 to 50 pounds per square inch or 690 to 345 kilopascals at an outlet can reduce water flow by about one-third. Water pressure over 60 pounds per square inch can void manufacturers' warranties for plumbing fixtures. Many residential plumbing fixtures are engineered for pressures no greater than 75 to 80 pounds per square inch or 520 to 550 kilopascals. Fixtures such as tanked water heaters, dishwashers, refrigerators, ice makers, and pressure assist toilets can leak or have shorter lifespans if pressures exceed the rated maximum. Gray Water Systems If the home will use any gray water or recycled water indoors, consider its quality, for example, turbidity, total dissolved solids, dissolved oxygen, chemical content, when selecting fixtures. Determine whether manufacturers have set minimum standards for supply water quality. If rainwater or gray water will be used with plumbing fixtures and fittings designed for municipally supplied potable water. Verify that the gray water quality will not compromise long-term fixture performance or void the manufacturer's warranty. Related Credit Tips WE Credit Total Water Use This credit addresses total water reduction, rewarding improvements for products that exceed the prescriptive requirements of WE Credit Indoor Water Use. EA Credit Efficient Hot Water Distribution System Low flow shower heads and faucets reduce both hot water consumption and the rate at which hot water reaches the fixtures. If low flow shower heads and faucets are installed, a smaller water heater and smaller diameter piping can be used. The lower the flow of the fixtures, the more important it is for the water distribution system to be efficient. Changes from LEED for Homes 2008 Requirements for the following were added. A pressure testing requirement for case 1 single family projects. Testing requirement to inspect for water leaks. The following requirements were increased in stringency. Faucets, increased stringency from 1.5 and 2.0 GPM, 5.6 and 7.6 LPM, to 1.0 and 1.5 GPM, 3.8 and 5.6 LPM for very high efficiency and high efficiency, respectively. Both levels must be water sense qualified faucets or aerators, rather than just very high efficiency products. Showers, increased stringency from 1.75 and 2.0 GPM, 6.6 and 7.6 LPM, to 1.5 and 1.75 GPM, 3.8 and 6.6 LPM, for very high efficiency and high efficiency, respectively. Both levels must be water sense qualified shower heads. For toilets, the 1.3 GPF option was removed. All toilets are now required to be water sense qualified. Requirements for clothes washers were added to this credit. Contract language recommendations. Plumber, install plumbing fixtures that are water sense certified and meet x flow requirements plumber test the system after work is complete to determine the supply flow pressure if the pressure is above 60 pounds per square inch or 415 kilopascals install a pressure regulation valve adjust the valve as necessary to ensure flow is below 60 pounds per square inch or 415 kilopascals for single family homes
test the entire water supply system downstream from the utility installed meter for water leaks for a minimum of 30 minutes. Repair any leaks that are detected. Technical Resources Pressure Reducing Valves Save Water and Prevent Problems, by Peter Yost, Green Building Advisor, 2010 GreenBuildingAdvisor.com Web Link Maximum Performance Testing, MA PTM, California Urban Water Conservation Council Go.org Web Link a project initiated in 2003 to test toilet models' performance and help consumers identify high-efficiency toilets that not only save water but also work well. The current MAP testing report provides performance information on 470 toilet models. This site provides access to the complete listings of the tested toilets. Product News, California Urban Water Conservation Council Go.org Web Link Information on toilets, urinals, faucets, and shower heads, including high efficiency models, state and national standards, and other essentials for choosing the right fixtures and fittings. Choosing a toilet. Taunton.com web link. A fine home building article covering several kinds of water efficient toilets. Composting toilet reviews. Buildinggreen.com web link. An environmental building news article on commercial composting toilets. Terry Love's Consumer Toilet Reports. Terrylove.com web link. A plumber's perspective on many of the major low flow and composting toilets used in commercial and residential applications. Water Use It Wisely. WaterUseItWisely.com. Extensive lists of links and related resources concerning water conservation plus links to plumbing fixture and faucet resources and sites. Go to fixtures and appliances. WaterWiser, the water efficiency clearinghouse. Awa.org web link. A clearinghouse that provides articles, reference materials, and papers on all forms of water efficiency. Energy Star product specifications. Energystar.gov web link. Referenced standards. Water Sense Energy Star Exemplary Performance Not Available Verification and Submittals Supporting Verification Materials, made available by the project team Provide Product Literature and Water Sense Label for all installed toilets, shower heads, faucets, and or clothes washers Verification Team Conduct on-site verification that high-efficiency toilets Shower heads, faucets, and or clothes washers are installed, comparing installed items with manufacturer's specification sheets where necessary, ensure all items are water sense labeled, for clothes washers, Energy Star labeled. Test building for water leaks, test single family homes for water pressure to ensure it is below 60 pounds per square inch. Glossary Gray Water Untreated household wastewater which has not come into contact with toilet waste. Gray water includes used water from bathtubs, showers, bathroom wash basins, and water from clothes washers and laundry tubs. It must not include wastewater from kitchen sinks or dishwashers. Uniform Plumbing Code, Appendix G, Gray Water Systems for Single Family Dwellings, Wastewater Discharged from Lavatories, Bathtubs, Showers, Clothes washers and laundry sinks, International Plumbing Code, Appendix C, Gray Water Recycling Systems. Some states and local authorities allow kitchen sink wastewater to be included in gray water. Other differences can likely be found in state and local codes. Project teams should comply with the gray water definition established by the authority having jurisdiction in the project area. Potable Water Water that meets or exceeds U.S. Environmental Protection Agency drinking water quality standards, or a local equivalent outside the U.S., and is approved for human consumption by the state or local authorities having jurisdiction, it may be supplied from wells or municipal water systems. Thank you for watching. Watch for the next video. Lead V4 Homes, Water Efficiency Credit 3. Outdoor Water Use. If you wish to get the PDF or PowerPoint copy of this presentation for free, 
Please click the link below or email me at nalka underscore roko at yahoo.com.